Hello everyone, in this video we're going to look into the properties of tangent. As a recap, a tangent is a line that is touching the circle at one point only. So this line SR, so this line over here, is a tangent because it's touching this circle at one point, which is point T, and we call this point as the point of tangency. So this SR is a tangent line. Let's have the first property of tangent. So if a line is tangent to a circle, then it is perpendicular to the radius. So this tangent SR will be perpendicular to the uh, radius if and only if it's a tangent. So uh, there is a small square here. This indicates that this corner here forms 90 degrees and 90 degrees is 90 degree angle is a right angle. So this two are perpendicular. Perpendicular means they form a right angle. They are um, forming a 90 degree angle with respect to each other. Okay, so let's have the first example here. In the figure below, AC is a tangent line. So we have AC, so that's a tangent. It's touching the circle at point C. Our task is to determine the radius of the circle BC. So we are given another line segment AB, which is 13. So what are we going to do here is, since we see that this is a right triangle, then we can use the Pythagorean theorem for this. So uh, remember the formula for Pythagorean theorem would be leg squared plus leg squared is equal to hypotenuse squared. So in this problem right here, 12 is uh, one of the legs. So I'm going to label this as a leg. And then 13 is the hypotenuse because it's across from the 90 degree angle. So I'm going to label this as the hypotenuse. And this BC, we can name this as X. And this is another leg of um, the triangle. So then from here, we can plug values into the equation that we have over here. So our first leg is x. I'm going to put x. That's x squared plus the second leg is 12 squared. And that is equal to the hypotenuse is 13. So that would be 13 squared. So then we're going to uh, simplify this. So this would come out x squared plus 12 squared is 12 times 12, which is 144 is equal to 13 squared would be 13 times 13 is 169. So then from here, we want x by itself. So we're going to subtract 144 from both sides. So minus 144 minus 144. So then we are left with x squared is equal to 169. Take away 144 is 25. And then from here, we want the x by itself because that's the uh, line B, line segment BC. So we're going to square root both sides. So when we square root, the squared would be uh, the squared and the squared is going to get crossed out. So we're left with x is equal to square root of 5. I mean, square root of 25 is 5. And this is the radius of this um, circle. So this is the radius. And this is also equal to BC, which is uh, the, the segment from um, center B, uh, center point B, and then to the point of tangency um, C. Now let's move on to the second property um, of tangent here. So if two segments from the same point outside a circle are tangent to the circle, then these two segments are congruent. So in this picture that we have here, there is this one point outside the circle, we, which we labeled as point R. And then this AR is a tangent. A is the point of tangency. And then this RN is uh, a tangent. And the point of tangency is at point N. Now, if, um, if there are two tangents that are intersecting from one point, the distance or the length from AR is equal to the length of RN. So these two are congruent. So I put like a tick mark here to indicate that those two are congruent. So we can go ahead and say that line segment AR is congruent to line segment RN. Okay. Now let's have an example here. In this figure below, AB, so line AB and DB are tangent to the circle at point A and D. So the point of tangency are point A and point D. 
Solve for x and determine the lengths of AB. So how long this is, how long is this? They're coming from the same point B. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. Since we say that if uh, uh, two tangents are coming from the same point outside of a circle, then they are congruent. So we can go ahead and say that these two um, expressions that we have here are equal each other. So we're gonna set this up. That would be 10x minus 13 is equal to 5x plus two. So then we go ahead and subtract 5x from both sides minus 5x. So then we can cross the 5x out. So this comes out to be 5x minus 13 is equal to 2 since we cross out the 5x. Now from here, we're going to add 13 from both sides plus 13. So then we go ahead and cross this out. So we're left with 5x equals 15. And then from here, we divide both sides by 5 because we want the x by itself. So divide it by 5. So we are left with x is equal to 3. Okay, since we already have an x is 3, so I'm going to put that in here, so that's 3. We are going to determine how long is AB. To do that, we are going to plug this 3 into the x. So that would be 5, parentheses, and then plus 2, and then that would be uh, 3 right here. So 3 times 5 is 15, plus 2 is 17. So the length of AB is... 17. Now let's look for the length of BD. To do that, we do the same thing. We plug this 3 into the x of this expression right here. So that would be 10 times the 3 minus 13. So I'm going to put 3 over here. So that would be 10 times 3 is 30. 30 take away 13 is 17. And that makes sense because these two are tangent lines or tangent segments coming from point B. And the rule here says, or the second property of tangent is that they have to be equal or congruent. So BD is also 17. Did you get the same answers as this? Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.